Hi, my name is Angela Gurley. I am a mom of eight and I am marketing online. And I have um, been working with a bunch of uh, people lately and we've been talking about uh, how important it is to um, not chase people, not um, scare them away and how important it is to um, be that person that really attracts people to you, just to have so much more um, rapport with people um, when you're not trying to go get them all the time. Um, one of the uh, biggest things um, you wanna do is uh, choose a social media platform. I mean, I, I um, Julie, what platform do you like working with best? I, well, I've always been on Facebook, you know, I never had gotten into the Twitter, Instagram stuff because I didn't really understand it. I just kind of thought it was like pictures and tweeting and I'm like, well, I don't really have a following. So I never really dabbled in it, but I've recently started with Instagram and I kind of like it because, you know, as Facebook is my forte and my, you know, more focused attention, I like Instagram because it works really well around my kids and, you know, you have eight, I only have three, but you know, those little time cracks in the day, like I feel like I can get so much and I'm actually getting a ton of leads from that consistently every day now. I'm getting a few leads and just being that I started this in the past 30 days, that's pretty awesome. So it does work. Um, so now I'm kind of intrigued to see what I can do with that. But yeah. That's that's awesome. I um, really I, I was primarily using Facebook, but I really like Instagram. Like you said, I can, yeah. you know, with, with um, a couple different apps, in which I, I'm just learning how to use Crowdfire. I, I really um, I love Crowdfire. Like it's awesome. Yeah. How, how that helps you um, be able to find some of the people that you're looking for a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice because you can really target your niche that you want to attract to. And like you were just talking about not chasing people and pitching and selling, but how to kind of more so become the hunted and have people chasing you. It's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, now, uh, as as you know, not everybody is the right person for you or the right person for um, that, that you want to work with. I mean, personnel don't mesh very well and uh, just don't have some similarities that don't work very well. So, um, you know, trying to get everybody is not the right way to go about um, your marketing. And, and the other thing is, is that you want to be different from everybody else. There's so yeah. much noise out there. So how do you know? Mm -hmm. What's the who's the right person for you if you're just in the noise with everybody else? That's why it's so important to do something that's different from everyone else. Yeah, to make yourself um, stand out for sure. Um, yeah, if everyone's wearing the same color shirt. It just looks like a blob, right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It does. It does. So I mean, there's nothing wrong with posting in groups, but if everybody's just posting links and sharing um, in that way, like on Facebook, then how do you really cut through the noise that's there or, or even in your profile or fan page they're talking about is business. So you want to mm -hmm. be um, that person that attracts other people by giving value and offering that value that helps um, someone someone out. I mean, they may be um, looking for certain trainings or um, information that can help them be better in business. Maybe um, it's a book that you recommend that can change things for them. And by sharing what you already know, you're helping someone else. And you know, when I was first starting, I was like, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. And there's always someone that you know a little bit more yeah, about. For and, sure. and if you if you start making lists and and writing down some of the things, I mean, you um, you know, someone may not know how to you know organize their files in in um, like Word or somewhere else, and you know how to do that. You could create a video sharing that information, or um, maybe. They
they don't know how to follow somebody on Facebook, go to Facebook, you can create um, content and share how to do that. So the more you share what you know, and it, it doesn't have to, you know, we think we, it has to be this huge extravagant thing because we compare ourselves to other marketers and it really just needs to be something, you know, just the simplest things there that um, you can share. And, and we're, and we're always learning, right? Always. And as you learn, yeah. yeah. And as, as you learn, you learn something, you implement it, get some results, and then go share that with other people and show them what you did. That is um, really big for attracting other people. I think too, um, yeah. when, when we go out there and we are looking at this, because like, it's like, um, you're always, there's always going to be someone brand new who needs some help and guidance because they're not sure and they're exploring and they're trying to figure out what the right path is to help them be successful. Like you said, and um, you know, so you always have something to share in it. And I think it goes a lot further than just the business steps. Like you have eight kids, Angela, mm -hmm. and you've got to be really savvy with your time and getting stuff done. Like you have so much on that level to offer anybody who has a career or multiple things going on in their lifestyle, you know, it goes beyond just yeah. the business skill set and just accomplish, accomplishing and organizing small tasks throughout the day, you know. Um, and that's, that's mm -hmm. a big part of it, too, is you do always know you know, something, but I think we tend to overcomplicate it, you know, analysis, paralysis, like we think we got to think big time rocket to the moon, but it's really just sharing what you're excited about and how it worked for you is what really um, brings people to gravitate towards you. I just have found that making it simple is always best and less is more sometimes. Oh, absolutely. And the more the, um, you know, just giving um, a little bit of a share can make a huge difference. Um, you know, we think our our MLM, our product, or whatever service is the greatest out there, and so does so do a lot of other people too. They think <laughs> everybody you know, what they have the is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and and really, people aren't looking to join. A company they aren't looking to join a product or a service they're they're looking to connect and make that mm -hmm. really deep level connection with another person so it's really important to um, be you so that someone else can get to know you and there's lots of different ways to let people get to know you I and mean, when you start a conversation with someone it doesn't have to be about your business you can simply just you know what would it be like for you to talk to somebody without an agenda to just get to know them now they might be right for your business they might not be but getting to know them they may know several people that are the right fit for you but you wouldn't know that if you just pitch them because they're you know the more you chase something the more it eludes you it it runs you know it's gonna close all your doors away. and windows yeah yeah. So you you want to you want to open those up and being able to um, you know have no agenda and just talk to people and say, look, I you know I've got some I have got some free information to share with you. You know they yeah you know, they have the opportunity to say yay nay, but it's not like you're forcing something down their throat. And usually you can learn something from them as well. Everybody has a different strength to bring to the table in networking and even in marketing. And even if it's someone brand new, um, you, you you can't treat them like the newbie. They've got something cool that they're going to teach you too. And, you know, yeah, you, I never talk business first and I, you, you can't, you can't pitch this out. You just got to take that whole sales mentality right off the plate if you want to be successful with networking for sure. Oh, absolutely. I mean, networking is about getting to meet people. I mean, you don't go to a party. I mean, it's like going to a party. You you don't pitch somebody at a party um, a business. You're just like, hi, how are you? And, and you know, have some chit-chat conversation and get to know them. Now, the business stuff, as, as they see you providing value, um, may come up up in conversation later but that's that's definitely not an approach that you're just meeting someone um, for the first time that that you want to do 
Yeah, your impression, it's like going to the furniture store. Don't be the person, the salesperson in the furniture store, right? That's that's exactly yeah. how you make people feel every time. You know, you talk, and even so, like you're 10, you're 10, five, 10 minutes into the conversation and Angela just got telling me about her beautiful life and her children and what she loves. And I'm like, so, hey, here's my link. Go check out my business. <laughs> that's not what yeah. you want <laughs> No, it really, not it really is it. Couch, it dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It it really, um, you, like you said, closes closes doors, and and people run with run away from you. And you and you know, I I see a lot of times people posting on you know their their profile page. It's yeah, you know, every post is business. And and how can anybody get to know the person you are if that's all you're talking about? I mean, we've seen that happen, you know, several times where where somebody's you know, talked about a business all the time and then something happens in that business you know, goes away and, and you, you've branded yourself to this product or company and, and not for yourself. So no one's gotten the opportunity to know you. And that's a question I always um, have shared with my teammates and ask myself, what is going to keep people coming back to, to buy from me if that's what they're there for, or what makes me different than, anybody else online, they can go and still click that same link. Why would they want to work with me if they're going to buy products from me or a program from me? If they don't know me, they're never going to have that first impression that makes them feel all warm and fuzzy to keep coming back to work with me because I made them, you know, made it known that I cared about what they wanted or what they needed. And I got to know them and built that, that relationship. You know, that's, that's something, you know, that's a good question to ask yourself. What makes me different that they'll want to come back to see me, not not the product I'm jumping up and down from the rooftop yelling about, but why why would they want to work with me? What are my strengths that I can share with them or my personality mm -hmm. and my caring? What what are those things that you want to share those out there because that's what's going to pull that attraction in? And you kind of forget about that sometimes if you're just starting out and someone <laughs> says, hey, just go do this. Sometimes we don't think we just dive right in and it's not always our best foot forward. So I don't know, asking yourself questions on what you would want if someone, you know, if you were going to go buy something from somebody else, mm -hmm. how you would want to be treated really helps you put things in a fine perspective, I find. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that is a great a rule to have, to, you know, how, how would I want to be treated? How, um, you know, how, how was it when you, you know, first, uh, either joined a company or looking to join a company, ha, you know, how did that person approach you? Because I've had where where people um, you know, have keep hammering at me um, mm -hmm. about their product, and and that just really was a huge turnoff for me. Um, and, and and you have to take into account, you know, people's personalities. You know, some some will mesh with yours really well and some won't. And you, um, you know, if you're being you and not somebody else, you'll weed through those people and the people that are really meant to work with you, they'll be around and they'll come around if you're um, providing the right uh, value for them. Yeah. <clears throat> now I was gonna make some suggestions for um, ways that you can, um, you start with your attraction and not, uh, be, you know, being in a chasing mode. Um, and here are some great ways to just kind of do each day to um, work that out. And one of uh, the first one is to just, you know, go meet people where they are, where you are. If you're if you're working on Instagram or Facebook, or if you um, prefer. Uh, meeting people um, in meetings and things like that, then then meet them where you are, but meet a, you know, meet 10 people consistently each day and and you will build your network. Now some of those people will be for you. Some of those people will know someone um, that uh, will be connected to someone that's for you too. So the more people you meet, you can really weed through those that are meant to be um, for you. Mm -hmm. 
And then, and then the other great thing is to produce content each day. And whether that be um, a written piece, an audio, or a video. And and if you're, you know, have a very busy schedule like I do, sometimes it's not creating something every day. Sometimes it's creating, you know, five pieces at, you know, at a block of time that I have that I can put out every day. But you want to be able to put out something every day so that people um, about you, that people can um, get to know you. And and right now, video is really hot. So um, they get to see you and hear your voice. It really helps them um, make a better connection with you. So if, if you um, can shoot some videos on your phone, or you can do it anywhere and at, at really any time, I mean, it doesn't have to you know, be a huge block of time. You can shoot a video on the fly anywhere you are. So um, that that's really a big, big it, one. It's, you want to say yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> I do. You know, because I know there's someone on here right now that's going, no way, I'm never doing a video. I will not put my face out there. I'm too scared to death to do. Like, that's my no-no, my asshole no-no. Uh, you know, that was me. <laughs> I just want to give you some tips. Um, it is, you know, what all the stuff Angela is giving and, and I work with Angela on some different things too. People want to know you and get to know you. And if they're not someone like your family or your friends, when do they get a chance to talk to you face to face? They really don't. And although you can write written, you know, content like Angela's saying or do pictures or posts, they're never going to see you and your personality and all these fun little things that they would be like, wow, I have so much in common. So if you're really camera shy, you know, coming on like blab with a couple of your teammates and just talking like we are right now will help you get so much more comfortable. And like Instagram has like a 15 second video rule. You can be like, hey, I'm Julie. Come check out my page. Like these little tiny baby steps. Um, and then like if you just do that a little bit during the month, like each week, by the end of the that first month, you're going to be like, I'm a video master. Let's go, you know, because now I'm totally comfortable. I don't care. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm over the hair. I'm over, you know, it's all good. So yeah. practice on something like Blab. It's, it's It helps you get very comfortable talking to people. And then you can do it with people you're comfortable with at first till you can branch out. So I don't know. That's helped a lot of my and, team. And, and, and the other um, thing that I did when I was first, you know, I, I made a few videos um, who are speaking and, and, one of the best things that you can do too is um, if you find something in a book that you're reading that could be really helpful to someone, mm -hmm. you could um, read a you know read a quote out That's of it idea. and then you know, say what it means to you. Um, sometimes that can be easier um, than producing. Um, a whole video just on the fly. So, but having a little something in front of you. Um, to read. I, I know uh, someone who did a motivational minute and that was his, um, the way he started out, he, he read a quote and said a little something and, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, everybody thinks I've got to make this five, six minute video. It only has to be, you know, like Instagram's 15 seconds. So you, you get in what you get in. Um, and, and really videos don't have to be be long it's it's not about what you look like or where you are it's more about the message mm -hmm. that you're giving to people that is so helpful to someone else so um and, and your story is so important to share with other people there there's someone who um ha has uh been where where you were and um just not sharing that is um a shame because it really could help someone else uh, move forward and, and get unstuck from where they are. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the last thing I would say is have a way to communicate with people and, and get your message out. And it, it can be messaging on Facebook, but I have found one of the best ways to be able to um, communicate and not see intrusive is to, um, have a newsletter have a, where you have an autoresponder and you can um, 
share something with them every day. Now, you know, will, will they open it up every day? No, and it's their choice. But if you're like calling their home every day, you know, they're gonna, they're, they're probably gonna block you and get a restraining order. But if you, but if you're sending them a newsletter that they opted into and said, yeah, it was okay for you to send to them, they're not gonna get upset with you. So, I mean, you can share some great stuff um, with, with those people consistently every day. And, and that's um, a great way to, you know, the content that you're making, you can share it into your newsletter. So you're not creating two or three different things. Mm -hmm. you you create one thing and you can share that um, so many different places. So I, I, I like what I'm saying is, is this doesn't have to be this huge thing that, oh my God, I got to do all of these things each day. You really could be, you know, creating a piece of content, um, you know, a video, writing up a little something about it, you know, uh, three, four lines and share that to your newsletter. And, and you've gotten both of those things done in a relatively short period of time. And you don't have to always be sharing your content. You can be sharing other things that you find that are really helpful too. And you wanted to say something. I, how'd you know? <laughs> I, I always say something. <laughs> well, I wanna go back to what you said earlier because I just wanna remind mm -hmm. people, you know, you're sharing your content and your stuff and you're, you wanna give value to your audience. You're not just pitching them, right? Mm -hmm. That's going back to what Angela was saying right. in the beginning. When you do that in your emails and they see that they can identify with you and they're learning from you, they're going to look forward to your email newsletter all the time each week and they're going to wait. Oh, yeah. here she comes. She's going to talk to me again or he's going to share something awesome with me and I know it's going to help me in my business. And so you're sharing your story and you get to drop little pieces of your personal you know, your, your personal journey in there with your life and they get to know you and then mm -hmm. that furthers your relationship. So it's so powerful that little email newsletter that you send out, because if you do share those things, um, people are going to stay with you for a long time and they're going to love what you're sharing and they're going to follow you on your social media platforms. And so much is going to come from that. That that's so true. I, I agree. Um, once, uh, and, and if you share, you know, where they can connect with you on there and you, and you can put that in your content, then if you're sharing great value, I mean, I have people that just, opt in to my newsletter and I'm not even asking them because of value that I shared for them. And um, it, it's very easy to do and it's very easy to say, hey, I have some great stuff for you. Um, you can go here or if you shoot me your email, I, I can connect you um, to my newsletter and uh, you'll get you'll get that great content all the time. Um, one of the uh, last things I wanted to say is that, you know, when you're, you know, instead of chasing people, you want to remember um, your gifts, your leadership, and your purpose are not about you. Life of significance is about serving those who need your gifts, leadership, and purpose. And there's always someone that, and yeah, I just want you to remember, there's always someone that, be, that is behind you that really needs you to share those things with them to help them along. Does anybody have any questions or, <clears throat> hi Shane, I see that you joined us. Does anybody have any questions or any comments? Big topic. I wanna, um, for you, those of you guys I, and I, um, that are used to working leads in cold market, you know, that's the industry I started in six years ago. And I'll tell you what, they a lot of companies still work that way. And that was a hard way for me to build because I was chasing, I was chasing this person that, you know, requested information and it's like, they, it, they kind of teach you to keep going till that person tells you no, or go away. Even if they don't answer your phone, you know, I could 14 hours a day on the phone. I wasted so much time chasing and, you know, listening to the person who told me to train that way. And now here I am, you know, um, a couple years later after that, I started in this whole networking uh, attraction marketing, you know, and now I have all these people coming to me and I'm like, man, if I'd only known that in the beginning, <laughs> you know, so it, 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 I mean, I've been on both sides of the spectrum, you guys, and it, it's, it's so wonderful. It's, um, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated, like Angela said. And 
it's just giving little tidbits and these videos and these little pieces of you out there, things you learned along the way. And um, for me, when I started on this side of the spectrum, it was what would have been more helpful for me in the beginning, knowing how I started. And that's kind of where I go back. You know, I look at the things I struggled with and I want to offer that little, a little solution to someone who, like Angela said, can resonate with my message and say, that is what I totally needed to hear today. Thank you so much for sharing that because your story is meant to be shared because you are going to help so many people with your story because somebody is walking in the same shoes you are. So yeah, I'm with you. Save the 14 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, it's not kidding. I, I, I know exactly what you mean because my, my husband got me a book <laughs> called Marketing in an Hour a Day because I was spending my day chasing after people and I and he's and he's like you're not sitting on the computer all night tonight and I'm like no because when when you learn to share and attract people to you it makes a huge difference um, in the amount of time you really have to spend your business and and you know being a mom of eight it really um, you know is important that I get to spend some time with my kids and not um, always sitting at the computer on my business or telling them to, you know, be quiet for a few more minutes while, you know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to convince somebody else to um, join me. And now it's um, great that, you know, the people that want to work with me come to me. And, and, uh, uh, Shane, I, I, you know, your question, you, you can give um, value. And what we were talking about on your newsletter or social media, you can do it both places. I and mean, if you're creating content um, daily or, you know, several pieces that you can share out daily, you, you can share those to your newsletter and you can easily share your newsletter to your social media as well. And, and when people, um, see that they have the opportunity you know, those that aren't on your newsletter can read what you've put out there and um, you know go in and join your newsletter automatically that way too I mean I've had some people I I, I when I create a video um, I'll share it in my newsletter and I'll use uh, sometimes I write a long newsletter but uh, a lot of times I'll just write three, four lines kind of give them the gist of what my video is about and let my video, let them see me and, and hear me share the information to them. And um, it it's helpful um, and, and them getting to know me more. And then I will share my newsletter um, to uh, over to Facebook and um, even Twitter as well. And it's really nice too, because you keep doing that consistently, say for six months. Think about how many times you've mm -hmm. shared awesome content out there in your newsletter and someone new comes along, they can still access your full library of great stuff and go back through your other stuff and they're still gonna benefit. Even though you didn't meet them today going forward, your very first day here, they're gonna come six months next year, a couple years from now, and they're gonna have this whole library of great stuff to go back through and learn no matter where they are in their journey, they're gonna find parts of that to resonate with you. So you're always gonna have this great stuff that is sitting there that's read over and over and over, just like a book at the library. So that's also gonna benefit you in the long run for all the new people coming because there's that catalog, you know? It's awesome. Absolutely. And and you know, having that library of newsletters too, I mean, a lot of content's relevant. You know, some things change here and there, but, you know, mindset um, ideas and um, other business ideas, they, they're timeless. They they don't change. And, you know, when you're running uh, short on time, um, you could pull out one of your archive letters, change it up a little mm -hmm. bit and share, um, share it again. But, but the great thing is, is that you don't, always have to, um, I mean, creating your own content's great, but you can also find um, other things that, that people have um, shared. I, I love uh, sharing TED Talks, mm -hmm. I love sharing some old Jim Rohn videos, and um, even Gary Vee has some great stuff out there that I um, 
find that is timeless. And and when you're in a pinch and you you know, want to make sure you're connecting with your um, people on your newsletter. And and what's great about um, uh, some autoresponders, I mean, I, I choose to use Aweber. I, I love that because if, if I want to, and I have when I was traveling, I wrote out a planned set of newsletters for several days and you can time them to go out um, when, when you'd like. You, if you know there's um, a training that is coming up that you want your newsletter to go out, you know, like a couple hours before so that they'll have the link to register for that. And you can set that up um, in that way. <clears throat> and um, in that, I, I find that the newsletter is a, a great way to, you know, not be intrusive on somebody else's time because they can open it and read it whenever they want. But you have to provide great stuff so that you get them. Mm -hmm. to open it yeah um yeah there's so many the technology is awesome now you guys can schedule so much stuff even your social media posts <laughs> everything and interlink everything on autopilot you know because that's convenient you know like angela she's got a family and i'm busy too running around all the time and that's what i do i will um actually it's all these great things that we've talked about today have helped me balance my schedule so i take certain days of the week where i create content some days i do videos some days i do just motivational pictures um for instagram um sometimes i you know it's writing my newsletter for the week a couple of pages ahead so that i'm prepared and i you know if i have a busy week and it's the holidays i still don't you know want to miss a chance to just say hello to my list and share something awesome for the week and every time something mm -hmm. great comes along i carry a little notebook and i write these things down a topic like Gary V I love him if he said something great today okay go back and share Gary V's video on this with your newsletter because it lit me on fire that day and I was very productive mindset wise and so I'll go back when I have the time and I have that block set and I am getting more done in less time than I ever did before in my business right now because I've got these few days that I you know plan ahead for just blocking that aside to organize myself on all these great content ideas Angela shared with you so yeah you're more efficient with less time that's a beautiful thing when you have a home business you get more time to do what you want oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely and and you know not I I know some people um, are you know work work at a job and also um, are starting a home-based business and there's nothing nothing wrong with that that's a you know a great way to get started a, you know, a lot of people do it that mm -hmm. way yeah that's um, how it started and, and being able to even you know work around your you know work around your employment i mean you know lunch breaks or um you know other breaks that you may have i mean it's you can very quickly um shoot a video or write a quick you know email or even you know listen to you know, listen to a few videos um, on YouTube that may inspire you to uh, for something to share as well. Um, there are so many great places to um, find content and I um, had found that um, there there were times that um, I would say I don't know what to share I don't know what to share and that's what you know, Julie was saying how important it is to keep a notebook with you um, or notepad at all times so that you can write that stuff down to um, remind you of what you want to share uh, with others because if you're like me my I'm you know, have my brains going 15 different ways and if I don't write it down it most likely will, you know, be a thought fleeting, of course. So it, writing writing um, those ideas down is very important. I want to share why I really love the list that you talked about when you have your people on a list in a newsletter. And um, Angela said it, you know, a classic never dies. There's so much with technology. We're always getting these, these new great tools that come along and they help us um, get the job done faster. But these foundation skills that have been around for a really long time. If you look at the big leaders today, you know, the Jim Rohns of the world, those guys, they all have some things in common and those, they didn't have fancy, you know, tools, but yet they got the job done. And those are the ones we fall back on today. 
you know, your asset in business is um, the people you can communicate with regularly, right? Because they're your, they're your crowd, you know, yeah. and social media, some of those things you guys can't control in your business. You, you can't control your online back office, your MLM or home business gives you, you can't control um, social media or YouTube because you just don't know if it's ever going to get shut down for some silly reason and you can get it turned back on. So it's such a good idea to have your list outside of all of that, where you can keep your own little community safe where everybody's in there mm -hmm. because what happens tomorrow if you wake up and whatever Facebook went down, they're having a glitch. You can't contact your people and your YouTube got shut down because right. someone accidentally blocked you. Just all these weird things happen in the same week. How are you going to build your business? You don't want to start over on a new scratch pad and lose all that momentum you've worked so hard to create. So it's such a good idea. Even if, um, you know, your finances are tight right now. I know, I know I use Aweber too. I love Aweber. Like MailChimp is free just to have your own, you know, start with what you have and move forward, but just, Get them yeah. in a little community so you can keep them in the know and tell them what's going on great in your life and share your story. You know, that's that's the biggest thing I learned because that's exactly what happened to me with my first MLM. Um, the upline did stuff and the whole carpet came out and all of a sudden I couldn't access my back office. And I was like, well, that stunk, you know. And so I learned that the hard way. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today because that is your biggest asset is being able to communicate with the people who are loyal to you and can get in contact with you. And so you can share back and forth. So keep that in mind as you're growing your business on attracting those to you and branding yourself and all that, because it's such an important thing to be able to talk to your people. And you're so right, Julie, when you're sharing and, and offering that value, um, it goes a, a long way with, um, having people get to know you and connect with you and, um, sharing so important. I um, I I just I find that um, the you know an email newsletter is incredible. I mean, there's there's lots of other tools. There's you know, like I said, there's only two things you can own is your blog and your your mm -hmm. list. And your list, you know, you need to you know treat that with such care and, and, you know, like a, like a baby, you know, you, you want to, um, you know, coddle it, but there are times when you need to be firm and, and, you know, commanding as well. And another time I think um, would be great is that we could go over um, on, on another training, some of the different kinds of newsletters that uh, you can write, because I really think um, it's so important in, I know when I was writing my newsletter, I would get stuck because I felt like I was sharing the same kinds of things over and over again. And there, um, in a training that uh, I did with um, someone, they shared that there are, are actually, I mean, I'm sure there's probably a few more, but she broke it down into 10 different um, types, which was really great for, um, you know, changing it up some and and uh you know make it keeping it interesting i guess i would say mm -hmm. so this newsletter thing is yeah. is there anybody out there going what is this newsletter thing they're talking about because <laughs> <laughs> when I first heard about this, I'm like, what's everybody talking about this newsletter? Is there some newsletter template? I just wanted to say this for the person who might be new popping in because that was me. Um, it's just an email you send out weekly. We call it a newsletter because yeah. it's to keep you in the new, the news newsletter. So I just wanted to throw that out there because someone's going, well, they're probably Googling where's my newsletter or something like that. And I just, I want to throw that yeah. out for anyone brand new who's just starting their, you know, home business. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I was confused box. because, <laughs> because, because a newsletter and what, what, you know, I'm, I'm probably dating myself. I'm a little older, but a newsletter to me was a piece of paper that's, that's what that I was somebody yeah. sent to you. Um, and you, um, you know, got it in your mailbox or, or something Nail, like that. Mail. So, um, <laughs> yes, exactly. So this is something carriage. that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is something that, that um, you know gets delivered in an instant to anyone um, who who opts into on your email list. So um, it, it's a it's a great way to communicate. And and I would love to um, at, at another point share with you some of the different types of newsletters 
um, to and and some other tips to help you build your list. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions in the queue there? I'm not, I'm not seeing any. I answered a few from earlier that people had um, while we were chatting. Okay. Does anybody else have a question? You guys know how to type a question. You just do the little forward slash with the Q and it will let you type a question or you can put something over here in the send message box if you're new to Blab. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think we've um, covered that. Yeah, covered covered that pretty well. And Julie, thank yeah, you so much fun. for um, yeah, follow us. stepping in and being my my host for tonight. Since Pinch my, it, baby. Uh, yes, I I love it. Thank you so much oh. for um, doing that and uh, chatting with me and sharing ideas yeah. as well. So make sure you're following well, Angela so um, she can notify you so you can see when her next blab is or me. Um, we're always doing fun stuff like oh, this so that you guys don't miss absolutely. out. Absolutely. Make, make sure you're following Julie because I know she's um, sharing some great stuff. Uh, Angela's going to be joining me for a few of these day, fun so. festive fairs we're going to have. <laughs> oh, I would love to. I would love to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And nice. I hope you all have a good night. Happy holiday. And happy holiday. Yeah. To all of you. I know. Good night, good night guys. <laughs>